Hello and welcome to Motion Time. Today, we're gonna talk about the oscillate behavior. So first, where can we find the oscillate behavior? It can be found here on the behaviors, parameter, and oscillate. You can apply the oscillate behavior on these properties. For example, let's add the oscillate behavior with scale. So you can click here, add parameter behavior and oscillate. Once you do that, we will be presented with these properties. So first, the pace. But before that, let's go to the show high keyframe editor to see what's happening in the background. So currently, the default setting is like this. Our highest peak is at 199 and the lowest peak is on zero. So first, let's talk about each properties that we can adjust here on the oscillate. So pace, you can move this and this it just moves around next is the amplitude so amplitude controls the highest peak and lowest peak of our oscillate behavior so if i adjust the amplitude you can see that the curves or the this one increases also so currently the lowest peak is negative 185 and the highest peak is at 385 so next is, is speed the speed if you adjust this it will create more of this wave for example let's adjust the speed so my speed now is at 100 and you can see that we have this waves available or increased next is half range it will cut off these waves into half. For example, if you select this one, you can see like this. So before it was 385 and the highest peak and the lowest peak was about negative 185 but now it's at 100. So start offset. Adjust this if you want your offset behavior to start on a specific frame on your timeline. For example, I want this oscillate behavior start at 10 frames so I will just put this on 10 and you can see that the oscillate behavior starts at the 10th frame so end frame is the inverse of the start offset if I put this 10 frame or 10 here the oscillate behavior will end here on the 10th frame at the end of the timeline so next is the apply to you can click this one and you can adjust where you where you want the oscillate behavior to be applied so currently it's on the scale we can change it from here if you want precision to anchor point or the other things in here but for now let's just use this scale okay lastly is the wave shape we have the sign which is like this let's turn up the half range and reset the start offset and end offset so sign the wave shape you have other available wave shape in here we have the square so it will look like this and sawtooth and triangle i'm tired of using the scale let's use the position so to change that go to here properties then transform position to x Okay, you can see that it moves left to right but if I want this to move farther to the right I just adjust the amplitude and adjust the speed okay so that's how to use the oscillate behavior in Apple motion thank you and see you again next time